bringing it in from the from the bees. It's just stacked like this. I I always weigh it, but then I stack it. You can also crisscross it if you want some more ventilation through there. But this is 90% capped. So this is how it is coming from the bee yard. And then what we need to do is uncap it. Okay, so this is how it comes from the bees. This frame is fully capped. Beautiful comb, but. In order to get the honey out of there, we have to take the cappings off. Because no matter what you do, that honey is not going to come out of there with those little wax cappings on there. The wax cappings are there so that, so that the honey, since it's hydroscopic, uh, will quit absorbing moisture from the air. You want about less than 17% or so of, of water in the honey. Once it gets to that level, the bees put this wax capping on there and you can be assured it's below that level. So, but in order to get the honey out, you have to uncap it. Just to give you an overview of the whole process, this is the uncapper. We throw the frames through here and it uncaps it with a chain flail system. Then the frames rest in this uncapping tray for 20 to 25 minutes before going into the extractor. The extractor is just a reel that holds, this one holds 32 frames and spins just like that at up to 100 RPMs. That flings the honey out onto the sides there. From there, from there, it drains out of there through this tube and into the clarifier. The uncapping tray where those frames are sitting also drains into that tube and into the clarifier. The clarifier is a baffle system and it's water jacketed so it's heated to about 110 degrees and it helps filter out a lot of the wax. And then from there, the honey is pumped into a storage tank, and then from the storage tank, it's drained off. So we'll show you each little segment of it of that procedure now. Okay, the sun capper, like I said, is a chain flail. So you turn it on, and there's chains from the bottom and the top, and a, a, a chain system that pulls the frames through. that off so you could hear and then this is how it comes out so all the cappings are off and uh, if there are any that we miss he uses that little scratch that red thing in his hand to scratch them off and uh, you can also do this using a hot knife or some other methods a steam knife but uh, you know this actually works pretty well now in the uncapping tray you can see all that pulverized wax and then the honey actually filters down through it and by the time honey comes out of there, it's, it's, it's very, very clean. So right there you can see from the uncapping tray that the, the, there is a little bit of wax in that tube and that's just from when we were, very first started the operation. But now it's just clean, clear wax coming through and going into that tank, the clarifier. Okay, so now those frames have been sitting on the uncapper now for at least 25 minutes or so. William's going to load those into the extractor. And you're going to balance the reel. So he's going to offset light frames from light frames 180 degrees and heavy from heavy. And that way you balance the extractor. This is a, a module that runs the extractor. And what it basically does is it has an auto switch, a full way manual, and then there's a stop. This is also an emergency brake over here. Uh, or not an emergency brake, but a brake. So once you flip it on, I've got it set for 30 minutes. You can set it anywhere from 5 minutes to 30 minutes. You hit auto. And it will start automatically. It will come up to speed. And then it will uh, it'll go from you know 10 or 15 revolutions per minute all the way up to 100 revolutions per minute. And uh, fling that honey out of there. So when, once it hits about 100 revolutions per minute, I think it holds it for a minute or two and then it uh, shuts down. You stop it, you take the frame off. Okay, from the extractor, it goes into the clarifier. And there's always a lid on here, but you can see how full that clarifier is. And this switch is an automatic switch, so it's gonna kick on here in just a second. 
This heats it up to about 110 degrees or so, and it causes the wax to float to the top. And then these floats, the wax is caught in these floats. It's attracted to those floats, and then every once in a while we skim those off. Like I say, any second that's going to turn on. And then from there, we aim the camera down. You can see the tube down there. Uh, the honey flows once that pump kicks on, that pump is that brass thing, and it pumps it into the storage tank. Which I also usually keep a lid on. Okay, William's going to flip that uh, pump on. It's not ready to kick on anyway. And then you can see uh, it's starting in here. And there it is. So this is the final step, basically. It's straight through here, and then from here it can be canned. Okay, from that storage tank that I just showed you, there's a little valve. You pump it out, or you drain it out into your jar. Now normally I'd, I drain it into five gallon buckets, but this is honey for somebody that was helping us. My Aunt Shally and Grandma Wendy. You can see how thick it is, despite being heated to 110 or so. And there is the absolute final product that is ready to consume. Okay, and after the frames are being are done being extracted, the empty frames come out and we just store them for the winter. Put them back, back into a super. The empty frames, put those wet, store them for winter so that they'll be ready for the next spring. We put them on the bees, the wet supers are gonna help, or they're actually gonna draw the bees through the queen excluder so that there's not a problem getting bees through the queen excluder and then they go back to making honey next year. Okay, so this is our operation. Uh, the only uh, last thing I want to mention to you is that we have this vinyl um, strainer. And I use the word strainer because uh, in the uh, beekeeping business and the honey business, filtered honey is a totally different animal. Filtered honey is, is taking a stainless steel finely meshed filter in a tube, pressurizing the honey through it, instead of just letting gravity pull the honey through the strainer. It's pressure, pressure filtered, and that's where you get uh, absolutely all the pollen filtered out of it, and the honey molecules themselves are actually disrupted in that process. So that's our operation. Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching.